Hi, I'm Doug Mayhew. I'm here today with Dada and Sanjay from Sonata. And uh, these guys have built a pretty cool proof of concept around OpenXML, showing OpenXML in a world we're not used to seeing it in. Hi, Dada. Good to see you. So uh, maybe you can tell us a little bit. Some of our uh, viewers here might not even know much about what OpenXML is. So maybe you could just tell us briefly what is OpenXML and what are we going to see here today? Yeah, OpenXML is basically a, a new file format using which you can create the Word presentation and spreadsheet uh, documents. And uh, it's basically a zip package of all XML files rather than the binary files which used to be there earlier. So, so that's a big change from the past oh, it is for very developers. Much. Yeah, it is very much because if you look at it earlier, the, if you are doing some development on the, uh, these files, binary files, you need to play around a lot and you need to write a lot of codes to access these data which is there in the binary format and there was a lot of dependencies. Today if you look at it, it's just the XML files, you can unzip it and access this data and create whatever you want out of that. Okay, and I think we're going to see an example of that. I know uh, Sanjay, uh, you, you were pretty involved in building this. You want to tell us a little bit about what we're going to see here? Sure, Doug. Uh, actually, let us look at a scenario where on a client machine, you would like to generate a document. So you would like to have a server component which will allow you to generate a document. What you can do is the server component can create a collection of XML files. These XML files can be packed together and passed back to the client component as a document. Uh, this actually we can demonstrate on the uh, presentation which we have there. Very good. You make it sound very simple. Yeah, it is simple, yes. Okay, cool. Well, uh, Dada, so uh, you're going to take us through this, right? Yeah. Uh, first of all, uh, this is the home page of the small POC, what we have there. And uh, this is the information about the uh, operating system and so, the language on which it is running. I see. And so you just kind of hard-coded things that say Linux and Tomcat and Apache and all that here, right? Uh-huh. <laughs> but it's not so. Uh, there is a Java program which is there behind that and it's coming from there. It's not hard-coded. This is the operating system which is it's running on. And in fact, if I show you that, that's the VPC I am running at the back. And this application is running on that VPC. Okay, okay. so we have, a, we have a client running, looks like IE on Vista. And on the back end, we have a server that's a Linux server with a bunch of non-Microsoft products on it. Absolutely right. Uh, it's a Linux uh, VPC with MySQL database and Tomcat on which the Java program is running. Okay. okay. So let me just show you the simple thing which you all can look at here. So now I'm going to a page where you can create a document on the fly, okay, uh, without using any office object model. So, so this is kind of a, a classic uh, document assembly scenario. Um, we're, we're picking a few things off lists and we're typing some things into some text boxes and that's all going to wind up in the document we generate. Absolutely right. So just to uh, save over time now, right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to fetch some sample data. So that's okay. what it is. Now this data is all coming from the MySQL database. So we have a query which is written at the back end and it fetches the data from there. So, and, and here, can you do me a favor, because I'm a skeptical kind of guy, yeah, maybe change that title to something else, just okay. so, uh, so let me you know. Say it's okay, yeah. Demo. So let's make it big, okay? Demo Dof. <laughs> Looks okay. good, okay. Demo Do. Oh, whatever. I'm used to it. Right. Okay, <laughs> go for it. Okay, so I'm going to generate a document. Okay, so you click generate document. Okay. Wow, well, now, um, hold on, let me look at this here. So, we now have a docx that you're about to save. Yes, so this is what I'm going to save on my desktop right now. Okay. Now, um, so we were sitting there in a Linux environment, and all of a sudden we have a docx you're going to save, and uh, you know now we're going to head back to the office world. Um, it seems to me we, we've skipped a few steps here. There must be a lot of things that just happened. Right. That, that's the, uh, the stuff that Sanjay made look so simple. Yeah. Sanjay, you want to uh, maybe fill us in on uh, d uh, some of the details of what just happened there? Uh, basically, what happened there is like uh, a page, a JSP page was being called from uh, the client component. Mm -hmm. uh, when the user entered uh, the data and uh, submitted back the JSP page, uh, there was a, a Java class which took up the this one, uh, uh, the servlet basically, and then broke it down, broke down the input from the uh, JSP page into a particular structured document file. 
which is a basic document XML file and use the packaging architecture provided by the uh, framework and the package, basically when I say packaging it is just uh, zipping up, up uh, these files which are uh, created so it zipped up everything and then returned the file back to the uh, so that is how you got the save as feature there Okay, and so uh, so now let's so, see, Dada, you've saved that on the desktop, right? That's the document. I'm opening it for you. We're back in the Windows world. Yeah. We're uh, we're going to open up uh, Office 2007 here that can read that docx. Okay. Yeah. So what we are going to do here is uh, while it's opening, I'll just explain you. So once we open this document, I'm going to make some changes to it and uh, save this file back so that we can capture the revisions on this document. Oh, okay, so we're going to do a complete round trip here. We're going to, we created a document in the Linux world, we're going to go back to the Vista world, look at it, make some changes, send it back to the Linux world and look at the changes there. Absolutely right. Okay. So here's our document. Yeah, it's got a fancy, what does it have, a, a graphic embedded, looks like maybe it has a watermark in the middle of it, a uh, couple of different fonts involved, uh, some styling. Yeah. Very typical document, okay? Yeah, so what I'm going to do is I'm going 